Hello, my name's Loretta O'Donnell. I'm the Vice Provost for Academic Affairs here at Nazarbayev University. As researchers, we do need to think a great deal about how our research is addressing the broadest possible community. We need to do that for many reasons, so that we can get feedback, so that we can um, get good ideas from our friends and colleagues, both in Kazakhstan and around the world. And so that we can really start to meet some of the criteria that we need when we go ahead for promotion and renewal and all the other aspects of academic life. But primarily, we need to think about research as a way to grow knowledge, to really develop the tree of knowledge, to go into the branches, to really go as far as we possibly can, given the resources that we have available to us. With this in mind, I'd like you to think about using open access as one way to really make sure that your research can be distributed to the broadest possible audiences. Particularly as we're based here in Kazakhstan, we have very unique access to research uh, resources, to great people, to great minds, to great colleagues and great students. As we develop our research, it is incumbent upon us to start sharing our research with the broadest possible audience. And some of our colleagues and friends around Kazakhstan don't have access to the kind of subscriptions and services that we are very privileged to have here in Kazakhstan. So as we move forward, let's think about using open access. Let's think about using the institutional repository that we have here as one of several ways in our portfolio of approaches to research using open access as a way to reach audiences that might be difficult for us to reach in other circumstances. For instance, think of our colleagues in Shimkent, in Karaganda, in Pavlodar, in Uskamanagos. Some of them will have access to very expensive journals and some of them won't but they are very interested to know what we're thinking, what we're doing, how we're developing our ideas. They want to give feedback. They want to engage with the scholarly community here at Nazarbayev University. Let's give them as many possible opportunities as we can to do that. Uh, universities or any other institutions typically have a repository service for their own uh, researchers, uh, faculty, and uh, this is a very good uh, manner to promote the university among uh, other universities and other uh, peers in the science or literature or humanities. And uh, this uh, is a manner to open the research the faculty and investigators in that university or those institutions make available fully for all audience. And this is typically happening when the papers are already open access. So the repository can start from the very beginning, uh, offering the paper to the whole audience or after the embargo is uh, ended. So the repositories might let the papers be freely available. But it's a way, an alternative, parallel way to the uh, journal to offer and to make more open the information to the audience. I want to tell you that um, from my experience, uh, open access uh, is, as the name says, it opens the access to literature, to science, to many people who might be interested in our publications and they don't have or they don't want to pay for, for watching that, but they need it. They want to read it and they want to use that for their uh, further of their research. So, importance of open access. Uh, for scientific data, for publication. Why open access? It's a, a free uh, exchange of information. And uh, when everything is developing so fast, like now, we need that at least the research which is funded by government in Kazakhstan should be open access. Now, for example, Ministry of Education and Science requesting publishing one paper per year in projects, but they don't say anything about open access and they do not uh, include any money in the budget of the projects. Uh, so that should be resolved. The government should give a special item and budget for open access publication because it's uh, public money and then everything should be whatever obtained in the project except IP data should be open access. My name is Tidiso Michael Makwele. I'm the Associate Professor 
in the Graduate School of Education and the Vice Dean for Research for the Graduate School of Education. So today I'm going to talk to you about uh, the significance of the value of open access publications. So um, open access is very important because um, the knowledge that people produce uh, in terms of scientific research becomes immediately available to a wider community. And therefore all the researchers use uh, sort of uh, want to see their work being cited, they want to see their work um, uh, being read and being readily accessible to the, um, to the international community of research. So uh, open access makes that quite easy. And also it increases the visibility of the researchers. You know, their work um, can be accessed by different institutions across the globe. And therefore, this will also have an impact on the citations, the citations, their age index, um, and so on. But the bottom line is the scientific works become available to, uh, to the wider community. And in Kazakhstan, I think open access will be very important because Kazakhstan has just begun with the uh, with the <clears throat> with their journey of becoming one of the countries that has got high uh, sort of research productivity, and as a result, most of the researchers in Kazakhstan uh, will need to have access to a lot of uh, research works, and therefore, open access make it quite easier for them uh, to do that. So, and also, uh, we are seeing an, uh, an emergence of. Uh, of academics and researchers in Kazakhstan and for their work also uh, could be showcased through open access um, and their citations and their visibility internationally. So as we work towards improving the research productivity of Kazakhstan and the universities in Kazakhstan, I think open access can play an important role as far as this is concerned. I believe that the whole world is going to democratize knowledge and we can see it in the world nowadays. Uh, we can see that great universities are doing open classes, opening their lectures, uh, their knowledge to the whole world. And I think that Nazarbayev University is also not an exception. And for some period of time, we didn't have uh, such a chance to provide information to all people, to all Kazakhstani students. But nowadays, I guess it's a time when we should open our knowledge, open our um, everything that we have for people and for all students of Kazakhstan. And I believe that it's not only the trend of Kazakhstan, it's, it's a trend of the whole world. And that's why we should participate in that trend. And I believe that knowledge should not be a luxury. It should be a common right, a common human right. I believe that for me specifically, it's very important that my knowledge is published in open access um, journals so that everybody can access it, everybody can read it. And so that this particular uh, scope of knowledge can have a much broader, much bigger impact to the humanity. The main idea of scientists, of science, is to help people, is to improve um, improve lives of people. That's why we should not see it as a way to earn money, as a way to have business. So science have a much, much bigger goal. That's why I believe that we are going to a very logical uh, stage where scientists understand it, that they should publish in open access journals and they should share their knowledge. If you're not sure about it, the institutional repository and how it works, if you're not sure about open access and how it works, please speak to our wonderful colleagues in the library here. We are blessed with some of the top librarians in Central Asia working here with us at Nazarbayev University. We have librarians embedded in every single school. They, they welcome interaction. They want to engage with you. Help them to help you to develop the scholarly environment here at Nazarbayev University so we can reach out to Kazakhstan and to Central Asia to share ideas as quickly and as efficiently and is in a timelier way as at all possible. So good luck with your research. Remember, this is one of many opportunities available to you, but the institutional repository and open access are terrific ways to get feedback quickly, to reach a very important audience and to develop new scholarship and new ways of engaging with your community. Good luck. Mm -hmm.